day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English salesman of the internet, and I welcome you back to Moonlighter, where, to start with, I give up, we want to go to the place, so, and this guy over here exists for a reason. So, I know you sell them for mm. extraordinary prices that should just never exist, but I'll take three. I mean, an extra six grand to buy my armor isn't the worst amount in the world after all. There we go. Now we gotta add that to the wish list, add that to the wish list, and add that to the wish list. Wait, did I add more than one thing that I shouldn't have? Yes. Yes, I did. It's that one we want to add to the wish list. Light helmet, heavy heavy chest, medium boots. Also, whatever the hell I need to upgrade my weaponry. There we go. I think we're ready. For the most part. I mean, I could just go over here and look at the decoration as well. Is this the first time I've seen you? Huh. Maybe I should have been listening, uh, reading all of that. Reduces the probability of thieves. Increases the time the shop can be open for. Delays the delivery requests of shops by... Of, increases, the, increases the max number of visitors to a shop. Oh, and all of these are really cheap as well. Well... Clearly, I have to buy absolutely any and everything then. Right. With that, I can now go into my shop and look at all the decorations. So... Ooh, we can actually place near anything of what it is. What's this do? Adds a generous tip. Visitors add a generous tip. Right. Hmm, I guess it's a case of what do I prefer then? And honestly, I like the look of the fruit. I think the fruit looks nice. What do we have here? Increases the speed of visitors. Hmm. Increases max number of visitors. Ah, so that's a payment tip. So that would reduce the amount of pet bonus money I get. Is there any other decorations I can have? Anywhere? Anywhere, or do I need a bigger shop for more? I think I need a bigger shop for more. I mean, I could open the shop to sell stuff, but I don't really have that much to sell. Do I? I mean, I guess the, I've got these odd mushrooms and stuff now. And the fabric. And the sword. Wood. But we're not here to watch me do whatever the hell it is. We are here to watch me go into these dungeons. So I care not if it's daylight right now. We shall go to the dungeon. Show us what is in the desert dungeon today. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Ow. Whoa, what the hell are you? Did you teleport? Is that lava jelly? Fire jelly. Oh, I already found the boss. Well, we might as well see what the boss has to say then. Data entry 103. The recent s store shortages have no longer considered errors in keeping. Materials and various tools are actually vanishing on a daily basis. A guard program is being created to keep an eye out for intruders. I still get the feeling there's some sort of... Ah, uh, what am I call it? Time errors or something. Also, I didn't realize those boxes were actually killable enemies. I thought they were just hazards. Okay. So those are some big nasty things. What do we have here? Chilled lava and desert stone. Hello there, mysterious wanderer. One thing is clear. These dungeons are arranged to assist in the ransacking of them. But there is a glitch in the system and... Anomaly are working against their design. The guards. They work automason, automa, 
autonomously, without thought. Their only concern, the defense of the treasures in the dungeon, which seems in direct conflict with the dungeon's sole purpose. Our wager whatever places the guards here is separate from the forms of from what forms the dungeons. Huh. Alright. That leads to some interesting theories. Hmm. What else might be around here then? I really did not see the slime then for the longest time. Ow. 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 Yeah, can't say how much I'm liking the damage I'm receiving in this dungeon so far. It seems a little excessive. How much does this restore? About 200. Okay, I'm gonna need the fire jellies as much as possible. Would you like to teleport somewhere I can hit you? Then again, I guess that's actually kind of a bad analogy to say, considering I have, uh, what am I call it? A bow and arrow, so I can technically hit you from anywhere. Lava does too much damage. I mean, I know it's lava, but still. Ooh, very... Mobile boss, this. You actually have to spend time... Dodging. And the fact it's so mobile makes it quite hard to hit with a... Bow and arrow, as well. Yeah. Concerning, to say the least, I'm out of potions already. Well, our trip into the fire dungeon is going to be short, isn't it? Especially if this is how everything's going to behave. What are we having here? Uh, destroy a curse, random object, and a few other things. So what do we need? We need flammable dust. Magnonite, which doesn't stack up for some reason. I assume it's a six stack. It is a six stack. Why can't you just stack them on top of each other? Hmm. If I break... No, if I don't... If I break that curse, it won't go on to that. That probably only stacks to five. But it does also remove the curse that... It is also the object it is in... The same object it, that it is in question. So... Yep, stacks to five. Thought so. Well, that's a full inventory wipe right there. Eat bow and arrow! My bow and arrow shall murder thyselves with all that you wish to do me harm with. Jesus Christ! Why the fuck does it do 200 damage? Oh, what the fuck? You've just killed me, game. I can't recover from that. What the hell am I meant to do? You haven't given me any slimes to buy potions with. And... In addition, it's night time, so I can't sell anything. So thanks for fucking me. There's nothing I can do anymore. I'm dead. Game over. Thanks. Seriously, what the fuck am I meant to do now? Game's over. GG. We're done. Guess I gotta buy raw- I can buy raw potions without the ingredients. What the hell am I on about? Again, it should just seriously just flat out game over you. And let you restart with everything you entered the dungeon with. That would be better. That would be just better. And I have nothing else to say on the matter. It would be better. 
I would rather restart the entire dungeon having lost everything. I, I would rather fuzz fucking actually properly die and game over than be forced to, you know, not have ev anything at all. Thank you, game. Alright, what the hell are these? Bow and arrow ki killy things. That's all what they are. What is that? What did I just pick up? Crystal shards and wires. Um, there's nothing on the floor. Don't hit me if there's nothing actually on the floor. I have to do this entire dungeon with the full intent I'm not allowed to use potions. Okay. So. Why is there a bunch of these things? This only happens on the second floor. We're not on the second floor. I re-entered the dungeon. And if we are on the second floor, why the fuck are we on the second floor? I wanted to start the dungeon all over again. It's why I left. All right then. Oh my. I can now confirm that the that at the the bottom of every dungeon is a giant beast. I would like to spend further time looking into whatever they may be guarding, but something else caught my eye today. I witnessed a new creature near the aforementioned Colossus. It was not concerned with me, so it wasn't a guard. It was smaller, orange ver variant of the green monster. The one that occasionally chases me if I spend too much time in a dungeon. Which deserves more attention, honestly. Why is that thing around? But this small orange creature... It wasn't guarding treasure, and it and was completely oblivious of me. What was it doing down here? Wait. Is that green creature the scientist? Yeah, you'd better give me that chest. I'm not doing this entire dungeon again, just so, all over again, just so you don't give me a chest. This dungeon requires patience. Especially as I'm trying to do the safe route with bow and arrow. I don't know if it does contact damage, I'll admit. There we go! Nice and dead and gone! Glorious! Now for the healing pool. I hardly took any damage. I have not ne even needed to use a, a what am I call it so far. A potion. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, I understand how the boxes work now. So you're gonna blast, yeah. You blast to the side of the way you're rolling. Interesting. I wish these jellies made sense. Even after all this time, they make no sense as to which way they roll. Can't jump, jump over a double pit, can I? Oh wait, yes I can. What the bloody hell is that thing? Um... So it's a thing that summons spirits that just come out and attack me. Interesting, interesting. Now that I know how they work, the boxes are fairly easy to deal with. I should also put a bunch of stuff in this chest instead. I really love one of those glittery secret rooms, you know? No. You get to die. Okay, what do we have? A bunch of curse destroyers! Glorious! Let's go get the curses and see what they, ha what they are. I can't remember the last time I struggled in a dungeon so much. Mostly because of the fact it refuses to give me any of the the jelly. You know, the stuff I require for potions. You really need to add more jellies to the game. Alright, I've got three curse destroyers. That would destroy that and be able to stack with it. So that's not the worst idea. Just put them together for now. That could stack with that and get us two of them. This doesn't really have a partner. 
that could stack with that. I'm using a potion just because I don't know how much it heals and I do want to use the potion. So let's just continue on for now. Oh, hello there! Further separation betwe between the original dungeon divers has occurred. The divide is clear. The divide is distinct. On one side you have the adrenaline-fueled glory seeker seeking danger junkies. This group calls themselves heroes. On the other side, you have merchants. These responsible ones view the dungeon diving as a job. Less about the glory, more about finding the most valuable item and getting the hell out of there as quickly as possible. At which point they set up shop in town with their goodies for sale. One is possibly braver than the other, the other possibly more intelligent. But I'll just let you come to your own conclusion on this one. Clearly, the, the merchant is both. Because the merchant doesn't want to be in there, but they've realized it's a job. Thus, they're very brave to even consider it a job, you know? Also, I should probably, at the very least, stack in my... What I consider to be possibly the most valuable items... On the just in case I have to leave. Like so. I was about to say I don't even have the money to leave, and you just made me. Uh. uh what I'm gonna call it? Forcibly dump a bunch of coins in the mirror! Without my consent! So you know what? Considering it just did that, I guess I'll have to go with this. to do that. Bastard of a game! Okay, I am out of potions. I care not further. You know what? I might as well reveal this just to see what the hell it is. You know what? That works out perfect for me! Let's go home! Alrighty then, so, Andre, I'm gonna need the wires for that in the future, am I? And for that, and I assume that, and that. Okay, don't sell the wires, got it. I don't have the item other item required for that. I don't have the other item required for that. But I do have the items required for that, which is four Magnonite, the two insulating stuff I have. So, two insulating, four magnonite, four of the dust powder stuff, and five of that. What about the sword? I need the cores, and I assume it's the same for you. Yes, okay. Alright, so let's sort out what we need. Jelly goes in, the very few little of it that I have, Jesus Christ. That goes in. I needed... Four of that. I needed five of that. I needed all of that. And I needed four of that. And uh, that was it. Awesome. Well, I guess now it's a case of uh, working out how much everything is worth. I've never sold magic wood. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried to sell the old bowl, but I know I've tried to sell that. Okay, Andre, first up, I have a question for you. How much is jelly worth? You don't sell jelly, do you? Andre, I hate you. Okay, odd mushrooms are worth 2,000. And the magic wood is 100, right? Yeah, magic wood is 100. Okay, so now we look at this. 
And I just saw a very big number, so I'm looking forward to what these are going to be worth. First up, Crystal Shards. 2,050. That's surprisingly bad. 500 each. Okay. Pipes! Oh, Jesus. 3,650. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Oh, alright then, I think we're ready to sell. So, come on then! Greetings, dear customers! It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am welcome to the Moonlighter. Are any of you new to the town? I think you'll find we got plenty of new stock in place, don't we? Yes, plenty of it to be had, plenty of it I have to sell. There may not be on the shops in, any on the shops at the moment, but please do come back in, like, a little while if there's nothing of your particular interest at the moment. There may be later. The, the shop is constantly churning out new, churning out through produce. You may find something you want later. I can only display so much at once, after all. There are so many people looking for equipment all the time. Ah, the colourful die, madam! Excellent choice. Maybe you'd like some fireproof cl fireproof cloth, cloth to go with that. Ah, ash dust! I have no idea why you want the ash dust, but I won't question your life's choices. Ah, the smouldering kit. Excellent choice, sir. But worthy of a master adventurer. Ah, the pipe, sir! Are you planning to set up some gutters? Please, everyone, do come and buy everything I have available. You never know what kind of things you might like and might be in store for you in this place. Look, I'm even selling fabric from the Golem Dungeon because I had some left over in the back. Ah, the broken katana, good sir. Excellent choice. You might eventually be able to turn it into a real katana. Now, wouldn't that be some quite the something? Please, come on, come all. View my wares. There's plenty to sell. I have plenty to sell. Unfortunately, not particularly much for the adventuring types. Only for the common citizen. I haven't for been able to find much in the way of equipment out there, after all. Huh, apparently the stuff from the old dungeons has an increase in value. I never would have guessed. I am here, worry yourselves not. I was merely going into the back in order to find more stock. We do seem to be lacking a little after all. Oh well, not so much lacking in stock as it is lacking the stuff needed to sell the stock. Um... It's not letting me place new things right now. What gives? I still have plenty to sell. I think a bug has happened. I can't place new stuff. This is eating into my profits. Why can't I buy new stuff? Oh, it's probably because it's the end of the day. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. I won't whine next time. Okay, seriously, now this is a glitch. Oh, I can't even leave. I can enter the chests, but I can't access any of these menus. Something tells me it's time to quit. Right, now maybe I'll be able to access these things? Thank you. Okay. Magnificent. Well, we got a bunch of money available to us. Uh, we need to go buy potions. Quite frankly. That's our biggest concern right now. I'd like some potions, Eris. They restore 200 HP each, do they? Well, I kinda lack any of the rich jelly because the creatures refuse to drop any. So, I'm not exactly sure what I should do about that. But I'll take three Mega Potions. Or 15 Mega Potions, I should say. And then equip one. And then we're gonna head over to our merchant friend. Or blacksmith, I should say. And craft our new boots. Boom! Magnificent. 
And with our new boots now crafted, they have now been properly removed from the list of things that we need. So, we are ready. We have equipment. We have stuff. We have... I don't have enough to enchant my armor, do I? I have enough to enchant some of my armor. One of my armors. None of the good armor, though. I probably should work on getting some on some of that defense, though, because that reduces damage. I mean, having tons of HP is fine and all, but you still kind of need to have damage reduction as well as HP. So, I think that's what I need to spend my money on next time. You know, that and potions. Because this game refuses to give me any of the jelly required. Alright, Larry the Slime, are you ready? Or would you rather be called Philip? Or Jeffrey? Have I already named you and I just don't know it? Could you please, uh, not spawn across the, the stuff? I really would kind of like to loot you after I kill you. Thank you. I didn't touch the uh, the bloody lava though. Ay ay ay. Jelly! Lovely, lovely jelly! We have to make some potions after this. Again, I was behind a brick wall. The game just refused to move me behind the brick wall. I don't need to use a potion unless I get hit again. Because we're not unlikely to uncover the po the uh, the healing pool soon. Okay, I know I said I needed I needed to do it on the next hit, but I still don't exactly need to do it. Maybe the next hit. Okay, now. Okay, so very clearly... This down here is the healing pool. Glorious! And here is the special dungeon. Special warpy dungeon of the next dungeon. And I forgot I need to use bow and arrow for these little buggers. These zappy little buggers. Oh! I mean, I came down here by accident, but... I mean, I didn't actually expect to find something down here. I'm going to delete the stuff from the... What am I call it dungeon? The technology dungeon, because I don't think it's the most important. Slime, could you explain to me how you hit it when it was... Ah, so if, I, if the floor is glittering anywhere, it applies to the entire floor, the entire th stuff, not just what was in there. Interesting, I didn't realize that. Brilliant! Oh great, no loot. No inventory for the loot. Um... Okay, well, volcanic stone is worthless. I remember that much. That's a full stack, so we don't need the desert sheet. That's a full stack, so we don't need that either. And you're kind of all by yourself. Okay, not what I wanted to grab. I need the special stones. Yeah, that one, thank you. They're what's used to... Upgrade my bloody... Weaponry. Which could be very useful. And by could be, I mean will be very useful. Okay, we got a bunch of random stuff in here. Stuff we very... What is with my voice? Oh wait, I'm sick. That's what's with my voice. A 
Okay, now you're just a bastard. First you knock, you knock me back, which then knocks me into the pit, which then knocks me into your lava. That is a whole calamity of bullcrap. Got the chest, got the chest, you can't save your chest. Okay, we got more destructive stuff, yay. I'm sorry, you head straight for me with that attack? Since bloody when? What do we have here? We finally have a destroyer curse. Which is good to know. Why can't this game just stack items properly? Really now? It just ruins your in inventory. The way it can't be bothered to do that. Have you properly stacked everything this time, game? Looks like you haven't. This game is high. Also, I didn't see this. Of course it's more destructive stuff. Because destructive stuff is the only stuff. Okay, there's something deeply glitchy about my inventory right now, in the fact that it's refusing to stack anything and everything. A quick dip in the pool to heal myself, so that I don't have to use another another set of potions. I spent a lot of money on these potions, and I don't want to use them if I don't have to. It's a good thing I'm actually relatively skilled at the game. When I want to be. Especially when I've gotten annoyed. Right, now for the point of the dungeon where I have to decide what the hell I actually care about. Now let's see. Hmm, we have one destroyer curse. Just one. Which is a little bit on the concerning side to say the least. We require the jelly, so the jelly will be taken. The ropes are pretty damn important too, so the ropes are to be taken. Thermo engines fairly important. There's two stacks of those. These things are valuable. The destroyer curse will probably be helpful later, so we will take that. Of course we could also just destroy the curse on its own item. Which would make it, make them stack. And colourful co cloth dye is quite valuable. You know what? I think that works. We got quite a lot of 10 stacks. So if we find one of those items for convert into this item, we're going to make a lot of money from it. Ah, I dumped some stuff in here. Right. Um. You know what's always hilarious to think about? Two of those is worth more than ten of these. And two of these is ten of those. I suppose in the end it all comes down to... How much... How many potions am I going to use against the boss? Who is... Basically taking very little damage. Oh my bloody Christ! Okay, first the teleportation is not needed. Second, dealing a hundred odd damage per hit. It's too much. Okay, I am out of potions and he's on half HP. You know what, fuck this, I'm gone. Nope, not worth it. That was ridiculous. I am using the current level potions 
with the the tier below weaponry and armor because that's the best I can get. And I still think that is fucking ridiculous. Because it was. Hmm. Andre, what can I upgrade now? I can- I've got the ropes needed to upgrade that. Did I need ropes to upgrade that? No. Did I need them to upgrade these? No. I just needed it to upgrade my helmet. Great. <sighs> just what? <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, today's dungeon has certainly proven to be difficult. So, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next week. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me. To bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.